Tamaka, so how did round one go and what did you learn from the race? So this is how round one went. Uh, no, it went really good to me, uh, first ever, which uh, is always like a new beginning. Um, actually, like competition-wise, it went well. Like I was competing for second, third spot, and then all of a sudden I did a few little mistakes and I found myself on the ground with a bloody uh, elbow. Uh, so, you know, stuff happens in the racing. And uh, but I finished. I managed to finish in fifth, which is uh, which is good for me. Is my let's say goal. So yeah, it was uh, it was good. We saw in your uh, posh privateer video afterwards. Uh, looked like an ambulance had to come at the end of the video. What can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, posh privateer is going well. I'm uh, I'm enjoying doing my new vlog series and uh, yeah it uh, it starts and ends with ambulance because you know I, I went down in uh, in pay you know at the very last lap of the race and then you know I had to put some stitches on on, the, um, on my arm but I also had my team with me and I really wanted to go back home to bring my team home you know a mechanic photographer video maker and uh, I actually I do care about my my team and I wanted to bring them home so I went all the way back and all of a sudden I found myself kind of <laughs> loose and not feeling well then we called the ambulance they came to pick me up home and I went to put some stitches on on the on the arm which is uh, which is fine now so all good have you changed anything uh, since round one regarding bike setup and your tactics that you're going to go into for this second race? Yes, I did make some changes, um, suspension-wise, tyres-wise. You know, like round one was really rocky, really technical. Actually, I wasn't expecting that much rough stuff in the race, which is actually positive in in my eyes. Uh, let's see what rounds do bring. Um, Little changes, let's see, but uh, I think it's going to be a good improvement for, for round two. Now you have that race experience, what do you think it takes to win a cross-country e-bike race? So it takes, uh, you know, winning takes commitment, no matter which competition you take part at. Um, let's say, in my eyes, I need to be smoother, you know, I need to make less mistakes and, uh, you know, just ride nicely and hopefully the changing in the, in the setup will will help because uh, you know as we all know some little different in between engines you know we, we have differences but uh, I think uh, we, we're getting closer to each other. And so what are you hoping to achieve here in Ascona Locarno? Um, goal will be to be again in top five for sure make it to the podium would be that you know the the cherry and the cake, la chili e gina sulla torta. But uh, let's see, top five, let's see.